for 20 bucks, this light is a is a pretty hell of a deal. And it's only twenty dollars. And this is a Chlor Mantis, and they're they're not sponsored. I've owned two of these now, and I've absolutely beat them. One of them I have absolutely plastic welded back together. Hey guys, CP the Tool Addict. Woo! I know I wasn't going to talk about lights on my channel anymore, but man, they are. They're in your teeth, and I want to do, uh, I've always wanted to address this light, because this is the light that got me on YouTube, and I wanted to tell you the story. I, I had seen from multiple people, they talked about this light being so fam fabulous, so great, and how awesome it was, uh, and it has a plastic hinge. If you've had this light, and you know, uh, this light has a plastic hinge, it has a magnet and a base, it's got a nice push button on it it's got a usb charger it uses an 18 650 cell in it which all of these things seem like a very fan it's got a light on the the t tip 390 max it's actually seems like on paper this should be a great light and of course there's 8756 reviews on this light uh so without hesitation i ran to my uh, store, and and which brings me up to the point of these lights right here, 750, because I I'm skeptical of these lights being holding up, but uh, slim bar, you know, yada yada yada. It's got a 66 foot distance, 180 degree swivel on the head. You know the you know the strat on this thing, what it, what it's all about. Uh, it charges from any USB power port. You know, it's it's a it's neat. Now, they compare it to the Matco MWLSL, and I don't have any recollection of this light whatsoever, um, which is $80.29, which we all know by now. That's just a marketing gig. You know, if we show that the price is cheaper and then it's higher, then it makes you believe you're getting a better product because it compares and says that it's more lumens. It's aluminum, and they call this plastic, which is hilarious because the hinge on the Braun is plastic which to me is 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 ridiculous i i don't like this i always try to bring this stuff to light for people because you have to understand that these guys are not being honest okay and if you guys know and this light's been out long enough but this is just one of those things where it doesn't matter let's take the name harbor freight off it let's just go to multiple stores home depot lowe's amazon it doesn't matter any of these places are doing the same thing <laughs> Um, and then the tip flashlight 66, which it says it doesn't have one. Anyway, so we're not really comparing it to a apples to apples light in my eye, my eyes. Okay, we want to be comparing this to a light that had four, a 400. But uh, the hours of charge on this one's four hours, and this one's two and a half. Which I would almost highly guarantee you, if you know and I know that the light may last an hour and a half on high, not two and a half hours, without a doubt. So. Uh, you know, they, they really pumped this light up in this. And I just kind of want to go over this because this is, this is exactly what brought me to YouTube. Uh, you know, it's talking about this. Let's go to the warranty, which is a 90 day warranty. Uh, what they don't tell you is the Matco is a one year. So it doesn't show that on there. So we're not comparing fair comparisons. But anyways, let's get back up here to something that's really important. The reviews. And that's really what takes me to this video is the reviews. Now we look here and we see it's 7,240 five-star reviews. Who's given these reviews? We've got 1,016 four-stars. We've got 161 stars. We've got 101 two-stars. So let's say anything three, three stars and lower is definitely... I would say the three-star guys are probably the most honest. And I would say this is where I would give this is a three-star. Nice light, but ha it has problems. I really like the light. I have several. I've had several, but a professional setting, it just doesn't hold up. I have one at home, no issues, but at work, I have one. I've been through three already. I've been buying them because the price, but problems have them. The problems I have with them at work is if you drop it, it hits the floor just right. It breaks the tab where it folds. And I just said that it had a plastic hinge on it, folding hinge. And now I didn't read this review, guys. This is my reaction to this review. Um, the other issue is if it's used daily on a daily basis after a while it folds, gets loose, 
It will not retain position. It appears there are rubber O-ring that hold that that holds it. After a while, it breaks and comes making the full, make it flop. If you're looking for a home line, I recommend it. Daily use or professional setting, you may want to look and spend more money on something better. Now, this is where I think this is a super honest review. It gives it a fair rating, in my opinion, and this is the way it should be. Now, I'm not going to read any more, and we're not going to go down to the one stars. We're going to go straight to the five stars. That was a pretty elaborate and pretty respectable review. If you, you I, I don't know many people this could could, could really argue that. Uh, we got verified buyer, magnet base goes a long goes a long time between charges. Use on daily in the garage, keeping the house. Okay, now I think that this the, the main thing, magnetic, bright, rechargeable, pretty basic uh, deals here, go, basic reviews here. I was given one of these for present a couple years ago. Uh, keep it on the nightstand. I mean, it's it's a home light. Uh, best light I ever had to do auto mechanic work. Pretty basic. Sticking the inner fender in my wife's car while I was replacing the lower control arm. Once again, uh, just pretty basic reviews. Now, I, I have a feeling that Harbor Freight is, is uh, watching these reviews and they're, they're controlling them. So it's very hard. And, and this is what makes YouTube so good. For people that are honest, in my opinion. So far, the light, weight, strong, magnet, easy to use. I did like the magnet on the light. I will say that. And, and back to the guys of the three-star review, I completely had the same exact problems. I broke one, and I, I went and got another one, and I was done with it. The magnet was one of the only really good things. The light switch would easily get shut off when you're using it. So in a professional setting, I absolutely agree. This was not a light for professional setting. But I think the, the bigger picture here is, is that Looking at that number three review on it, the three-star review on it, uh, let's go back to there real quick. I think this should show us something about looking at some of these stuff. And, I, and, and I'm not trying to be the end-all, be-all of this stuff. I'm just trying to give you guys the tools in life or options. Some of you guys are, are, are extremely smart about doing this stuff, and not everybody, but the, the people that are not really catching on to this, I, this is all I'm doing is trying to help those people out. Your young techs and whatnot. You want to, if you're going to invest $30 into something, shouldn't you look and see if you're investing the best $30 that you're getting your money's worth? I mean, honestly, at the end of the day, that's what I would want to do is make sure that if I'm spending $30 on something, that I'm getting the best product for the $30 that I'm spending. So you're going to say, CP, what should I get? Well, let's take a look. Should you step up to the Icon Folding Slim Bar work light and spend an extra $10? I think that it's probably a little bit better light. Now, the reviews on it, let's see what we got so far. We've got zero one-star reviews. Once again, let's go to the three-star review and check here. I was hoping this was going to be a bright light at 800 lumens. My 350 lumens light is brighter. I feel Icon needs to step it up in quality in this area. Very good light so far. Very bright like the other lights on the top backside only one complaint is where the light pivots it only folds one way so it can be a pain because it only folds and it needs to be like the other brand light that y'all sell it folds ways it makes working so much easier so uh some some valid complaints there but what other options do we have we're trying to stay in that 30 or 40 dollar range well i can tell you for 20 bucks this light is a is a pretty hell of a deal and it's only twenty dollars, and this is a Chlor Mantis, and they're they're not sponsored. I've owned two of these now, and I've absolutely beat them. One of them I have absolutely plastic welded back together and made work, and it still holds a charge and still works. It's tough as nails. It's got a magnet. It's not bright. It's only one hundred and ten lumens, but it is a nice pocket light to have all around. Another option that gets overlooked because it's been out for a while is its big brother, the uh, Chlor Automotive Cobb, which is chip on demand light and carry light and it's $32 and this one is 300 lumens max output and it's no joke neither it is tough as nails I promise you that another room another light to look at is uh some of these cobalt lights that are coming out now pretty nice and I'm sure they're rebranded they look like they're probably easy red rebrands uh but this is a flexible light here 400 lumens this is absolutely a great deal here for 24 48 Let's check the reviews on this guy right here and see where we're at. 4.7. We got no three stars on this one. 
Uh, we got a nice magnet, slim profile, USB-C charging. Uh, looks like a pretty nice light, pretty durable. And let's check, let's look at the one star review down here. So it said stop charging, no indicator, light only, two months old, I barely used it all. Looks like a great light, just what I need. The inventory for Yorktown, New York store showed they had six. When I went there, there was none on the shelf. Employee was also able to find them. That's kind of a terrible. So we've got one bad review out of them, but uh, and I'm and I'm not sponsored by Lowe's or nothing, but I feel like there's some, there's many more options always out there to check. Now, obviously, if you don't have a Lowe's near area or close by, that's going to be an issue, but. Now, I hate to even bring up this one, but Amazon is so terrible anymore. Some of the stuff, I just, unless it's a name brand that I know, I don't trust any of these. But I just typed in $30 rechargeable work light here. Um, the Astro is definitely not the same price, but the Astro is probably the best one, in my opinion, to step the money up for. You're going to have a really long-lasting, good work light. But I'm just thumbing through here real quick with you guys to see if there's anything that uh and i'll tell you what you see these lights like these right here uh the one the two ones here on the left uh stay away from those there's a, a company called or home that uh, if it pops up here i'll show you dr prepare led <laughs> dr prepare rate d99 stay away from these i i i don't i i'm I, I can see a lot of good reviews i can see a lot of reviews on it but trust me dude uh, I, I have one of them ore homes and holy smokes, those things are trash. They are so cheap. The plastic is so brittle. Pop, Populo? <laughs> oh man, unless I get some of this stuff in my hands, I really don't trust any of it, you know, just to see how it works. But there it is, ore home life. This light right here, I have this light, exact same one, and it is a piece of junk. So you want to stay away from stuff like that. Seventeen. There's a reason why it's seventeen ninety nine. Anyways, guys, uh, this is kind of the video. I guess I'm my little looking over these little things right here. Are, uh, fourteen ninety nine. You can buy a six pack of those. I think for forty bucks on here. I don't know if they're really worth the crap, but people love cheap stuff. You know, I understand. Uh, you know, in saving money, but. You know, if you're going to spend your money on something, guys, I just try to help you out with find something that you're going to get the best bang for your buck. This looks like a great light, but obviously there's not that many reviews on it. So, uh, and these names, I, I like looking through Amazon just to make fun of these names. Like I said right here, four pack of lights. The reason why they sell you four of them because they're probably going to, three of them are going to be junk. Uh, worse, Warsun LED work light, rechargeable. There's just so many terrible options on uh, Amazon. It's almost worse to look at. Next LED 350 foldable. Uh, that is the exact replica of the brawn right there. But uh, yeah, this is the video, guys. Uh, just giving you a little heads up and kind of some mentality of what I use when I'm looking at something or trying to find something. So maybe it helps you guys out. But anyways, guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe. Ring that bell, remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.